guys, I'm Cupcake Mafia TV, Twitch streamer and brand new content creator. When I first started this channel, I had absolutely zero video editing skills, but as I progressed, I can now easily take my clips and highlights using DaVinci Resolve and turn them into YouTube shorts or TikToks. Let me show you how I do it. All right, so now the first thing we need to do is download the DaVinci Resolve software, which is totally free. So I'll put a link in the description down below where you can pick the software up at. So once you're on the page, scroll a little bit down and you'll see free download now. So go ahead and click that. Don't click Resolve Studio. That's actually a paid edition. If you want the free edition, just click the one on the left and choose the operating system of your choice. For me, it'll be Windows 86. Now it's going to ask you for your personal information. You could put that if you like, but for me, I'm not going to bother. You could just put in fake information. So that's what I'm doing now. Let's do street one, two, three, fake street for all those Simpson fans out there like me. Let's do New York. And then we'll just do Nebraska because that's what typed up whenever I typed in N and then I'll do one, two, three, four, five for zip code and then choose register and download. And now it's going to download the software. So whenever that's done downloading, go ahead and extract it and then install the program. And then I'll show you the next step. Once you first open up DaVinci Resolve, go ahead at the bottom and click on new project. Then go ahead and name it something. I'm going to name mine short, so feel free to name it whatever you like and then click create. Once the application fully opens, go and click edit at the bottom. Where it says no clips in media pool, go ahead and right click timelines create new timeline so for timeline name i'm just going to leave it default but feel free to name it whatever you like so the main thing we want to do is where it says use project settings uncheck this box now a bunch of new options are available to us so click format and then click this box that says use vertical resolution this is going to change our video from instead of being 1920 by 1080 it's now going to be 1080 by 1920 so go ahead and click create and as you can see, we now have a perfect baseline for our short form content. So back in this box where our timeline is, right click and then click import media. This will now show us where we can add all our different media files, such as video, audio, or images that we want to add into our short. So for me, I'm going to use this one called Viago ADC because I had a random Viago ADC in my game the other day and then click open. Now that the file has been added, drag it into our timeline below, making sure it's at the very far left hand side because this is where our clip is actually going to start from. So now that it's added, you can grab this red bar and kind of just scroll through and make sure that all the gameplay that you want to showcase is in focus. For mine, you can see things are a little bit off center. So what I'm going to do is on the right hand side, once I click on the video here, make sure it's highlighted in red, click on this video section. And then using the transform area, you can kind of use the positional tools to move things around like that looks a lot better. You can also do things like zooming in, zooming out. You can kind of change the rotational angle. You can do all kinds of different things. So just kind of make sure it's where you like it. And then I'm going to mute the clip so you guys don't hear the audio, but you can either click the play button here or hit spacebar on your keyboard to start the clip and just kind of watch it and get an idea of everything that you're looking to showcase is being showcased. If everything that you wanted is in there, you could actually just upload it from here and your clip is ready to go. So I'll show you how to upload the videos later to YouTube, TikTok, or just save it locally so you can manually upload it later at a later date and time in a different part of the video. So I'll put a timestamp down below where you can find that. The second tip I want to showcase to you guys is how to actually add your webcam on top if you wanted that reaction view. Left click your clip so it's highlighted, hold down alt and drag up with your mouse. This is going to create a duplicate copy of the clip. Although keep in mind it also sometimes create a duplicate copy of the audio. So since we don't want a duplicate copy of the audio, while that clip is highlighted, right click and then unclick this link clips button. So now left click anywhere and then right click the secondary audio and click cut. This will remove the audio and now you're left with the two different video tracks. So now click on video two, which is gonna be our webcam footage and click on the fusion tab at the bottom. 
this is going to show us a full-sized image of what our gameplay or clip looks like before we change the resolution so click on this eclipse tab right down here this is going to kind of crop out everything that's not included within this eclipse tool so i'm going to drag it over to where my webcam is and you can kind of shrink it from the top and sides try your best to shrink it to the best you can but if you don't need to make it perfectly because you can kind of crop it out later once you get things how you like it go back by clicking on the edit tab so now we can use the video tool section to kind of move the webcam back into focus so my webcam was on the left hand side so i'm going to move it to the left i'm going to drag it to the top some people put their webcams at the bottom i personally prefer to put it at the top but to each their own and then we can kind of just kind of change the zoom change the positioning try and do whatever we can just to kind of make a fit like there it looks good but now my kind of visual gameplay clip is a bit too big so let's shrink that we'll move it down and then we can kind of just skim through make sure everything's still in focus and then there we have it we have our webcam added on top for that reactionary view of our clip now that we have our webcam edited in, let's say you want to remove some of the little bits of annoyance stuff that's around your webcam, like such as a bar or just like random gameplay footage that you weren't able to get out while using the clips tool. You can actually use this cropping section while highlighting on the video. So let's say on the right side here, I can cut a little bit out on the left side. I can cut a little bit out and then there we go. That cut out a lot of that garbage that we had. So this is an option that you have as well. And it kind of segues into the third and last point that I want to showcase is adding some kind of blurring effect. So if you're using a green screen or you don't have a perfectly square webcam footage, it's going to look a little odd whenever you do and showcase the gameplay like so. As you can see, it's kind of distracting on the sides as you have the initial gameplay there. So you can actually add a blurring effect over top, which will just kind of make that a lot less annoying to the viewer. So let's make a third video track so we're going to highlight our video or of the webcam we're going to alt drag up to create a third video track and then we're going to go down to the left hand side here where the toolbox is under the open fx section there's all these different type of blurring effects i like to use gaussian blur but feel free to mess around with them to see whatever you prefer so once you find what blur you want to use left click it and drag it onto your clip so i'm going to drag it onto the second webcam and then i'm going to expand it a little bit so you can see it and you can see how it's fully blurred so if we expand it a bit we can kind of move it around tweak it up so it goes about here and then you can see when we play the clip you're not getting all that weird kind of gameplay loop or webcam footage in the background all that area is blurred now you can also change the strength or the weakness of the blur so if you click back on the clip that we did the blurring of there should be now an effect section that opens up to us and we can change how strong we want the blur to be how weak we want the blur to be so you can just kind of tweak things until you find out what you're looking for once you have all your clips done and created, how do we actually go about uploading them? So if you go to this quick export button here, this will open up this window. So if you choose one of these top three options, this will save a local copy of the file to your computer. And then you can use that to manually upload it to whatever platform you wish. Although DaVinci also offers an option that if you log in through YouTube or TikTok or whatever, you can actually have it upload it directly for you. So for me, I have the YouTube one set up. So once you click on YouTube, you can click on upload directly. Then you can choose if you want to make the video public or private. I'm going to choose games because it's a game clip. And then I'm going to just title it way damage. And then you just hit export and it's going to upload directly to YouTube. And just like that, guys, that's how easy it is. We have our shorts completed and ready to be uploaded to our platform of choice. I'm going to go and take the short that I created within this video and post it to YouTube within the description down below. So feel free to check it out just to get an idea of an example of what it may look like. Hopefully this video helped you and I hope to see you guys again soon.